Good morning and welcome back to the Sunset Homestead. It is almost seven o'clock and you still can't see me because it's that dark. It's getting kind of ridiculous if you ask me. And ooh, you can't see me at all in here. Hold on, let me turn on some lights. I want to laugh. Um, I almost ran into a wall of buckets to try and turn on the lights because it's that dark in here. So this morning, Mr. Bailey was uh, barking his full head off. And somehow he had gotten himself locked out of the barn. But last night when we went to bed, the door was open. So I don't know what happened. I think the goats closed him out. Um, and he was barking and barking and barking. We thought maybe there was a predator out here. No, no. He was barking at a rabbit who was sitting on the other side of the fence like, ha ha, you can't get me. That was teasing you, huh? <laughs> yes. Okay, as I'm going through and editing this video, um, I realized I never gave you guys an update. Baby was breaking his cool head off because yes, there was indeed a predator in the yard and it got one of our chickens last night. Um, we set up a cam so that we can see what it is that we're dealing with because it may be like the neighbor's dogs or it could be a coyote or a fox or any number of things. I am assuming because of the damage done that it was a large animal, not a small animal. So probably not something like a raccoon, which probably would have gone into the coop and just decimated everything. This was out in a pasture. Um, so we did lose a chicken yesterday. I haven't noticed anybody else missing, so hopefully it was a one-time occurrence. But the dogs were freaking out again last night and it was so dark that I couldn't see. So, um, maybe if I can figure out how any of that stuff works, um, I'll insert a picture, but I'm gonna be honest, I am technologically challenged, so we have no clue how to do any of that. Fingers are absolutely frozen already. I have been out here for less than eight minutes. This is insane. So, and I think that we are going to go, whoo, I shut the light off, hold on. I believe that today we are gonna try and get into the doctor just to um, make sure that there's nothing serious going on with Antoinette especially because she got like no sleep last night. Most of us got like no sleep last night and she's complaining that her belly hurts. So, I mean, she was up all night throwing up so that kind of makes sense. But at the same time, after everything we went through this summer, like I want to leave nothing to chance. So I'm gonna leave you guys here for today. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.